Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the motor capacitor on your KitchenAid food processor. You can think of a capacitor like a battery. When you turn the motor on, the capacitor provides a little more power to the motor to get it spinning. Signs of a bad capacitor would be a motor shaft that spins easily by hand, but when you turn the motor on, the motor just simply hums. Or maybe your motor has a little less power than it seemed to have in the past. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the motor capacitor. We'll get started by removing the bottom cover of our food processor. As with any electrical repair, if you're unsure about how to do it, it's probably best that you have a repair shop do it for you. The cover is held in place with four screws. The capacitor is located inside this round housing off the side of the motor. The housing is held together with two screws. I'll remove those next. Now we'll remove the capacitor wires. It's always a good idea to note the location of the wires before you remove them. Simply take a photograph of it or note it on a piece of paper. And now I can remove the capacitor from the capacitor housings. Now we'll go ahead and install our new capacitor. I'll start by replacing it into the capacitor housing. And then place the housing back into the mixer. Now I'll go ahead and replace the wires. It's important that the wires go back on in the same order but it's not important on which side of the capacitor you use to do this. And we'll finish up by replacing the bottom cover. 